welcome to the 19th group exhibit of hydrogen and fuel cells at Hanover Messe 2013. Uh, those in the halls, please come sit down. Do join us for a coffee or tea as I discuss Advent Technologies High Temperature MEAs. I will be speaking with Nora Gudopi, Research and Development Manager at Advent Technologies. Uh, please welcome her to the stage. Hi, Nora. Take Hello. a seat. How long has the company been around for, and uh, what does Advent Technologies do? Well, uh, Advent Technologies was founded on February of 2005. Uh, it is a startup company from a group of researchers coming from the University of Patras in Greece and an Institute of Chemical Engineering and High Temperature Chemical Processes. So at that time, the group had a deep knowledge on the field of uh, high temperature PEM fuel cells. And now we are here in 2005, they decided to found the company. So what the company does, uh, Advent Technologies is producing uh, components for high temperature PEM fuel cells. So actually we're developing polymers, membranes, and high, tem high temperature MEAs. Uh, apart from PEM fuel cell, uh, high temperature PEM fuel cells, uh, our uh, products can apply to hydrogen purification devices as well. With regards to the MEA, mm -hmm. um, which, uh, what kind of MEAs do you, do you have? I know that there is a few, so if you want to explain a little more. Yes, of course. Uh, we have uh, some uh, certain advantages. Uh, as I told you before, uh, we prepare all uh, the components of the MEA. So we prepare the membrane, the electrodes, and the polymer that the membrane comes from. Uh, but uh, these MEAs have uh, specific advantages. Uh, as I told you, they are working at high temperature. Uh, that means that they have all the advantages that the high temperature MEA has. Uh, that means that we don't need to humidify the gases. Uh, we have a big tolerance in carbon monoxide in the hydrogen stream. Uh, but uh, in addition to this, uh, we have also um, some other advantages having to do with uh, the superior properties of the membrane itself. Uh, that means that um, we can have a tolerance in differential pressure. This is uh, for specific application like the hydrogen purification that I mentioned before, uh, which is done by electrochemical mode. And uh, of course, you have um, good durability, excellent durability under thermal uh, cycling conditions. Um, in terms of Advent Technologies, mm -hmm. um, I've recently read some news about you. Do you want to share it with the, the group? Yes, of course. Uh, so I will have a big success uh, uh, beginning of this year. So there has been a funding uh, led by Connecticut Innovations. Uh, and uh, we are very happy about that. Uh, what we are doing now is that uh, we are scaling up uh, our production line. Uh, in particular, uh, what we do is uh, that we are going to scale up uh, the polymer, the membrane, and the electrode via subcontracting in the US. And uh, the last step, the MEA lamination step, uh, will be made uh, in-house. So uh, we're going to build a production line uh, in Advent uh, US facilities. So for those who don't know, Connecticut's a bit of a hub in the fuel cell industry. Uh, do you want to go into a little discussion about uh, Connecticut and mm -hmm. the institutions that might be involved with this? Yes, of course. Uh, look, uh, Connecticut uh, was, uh, for us, uh, was the right place to be. Uh, we started, as I told you, from Greece. Uh, we have developed the technology. Uh, we have been able to accommodate the needs that we had so far. Uh, but now we wanted to, to prepare a product in a bigger scale, more consistent. And uh, we decided to go to Connecticut because Connecticut, uh, we think, is the right place to be uh, if you want to uh, be active uh, in, a, in an effective way in fuel cells. Uh, and the reason that I say that is because everybody knows that uh, uh, co very big companies are located in Connecticut. Uh, they have already uh, entered into the market with uh, huge systems. Uh, so uh, Connecticut is a place where you can have a possible collaboration. It's, diff it's different to be there instead of being in Greece. <laughs> uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, there is a pool of people uh, very well uh, experienced and uh, expertise, expertise uh, in the 
field of fuel cells. So um, apart from this, uh, we have uh, also, since we need to further develop our product before we go to the production line, uh, we have a collaboration with uh, universities uh, in the US. Uh, so they help us, especially in the electrode uh, part of the MEA, where we know uh, that we're a little bit weak, uh, so we need to work on that to make it even better and then come with an um, excellent product uh, in the market. Do we have any questions from the audience at all? Oh, okay, I will ask one. <laughs> so in terms of the large-scale production, yes. um, when do you anticipate that these will be ready for the marketplace? Do you have a, a timeline available? Uh, yes, uh, we are anticipating uh, to have uh, in 2014 uh, a volume capacity of uh, 300,000 uh, species or MEA pieces per year. Um, one thing I would like to add, so, so in, uh, apart from the, the volume, uh, we'll be able to, to, let's say, cover any needs in terms of size as well, or in terms of, of configuration. And uh, we, ha we have to have in mind that there is not only one single product that fits for every application. Uh, so, uh, Advent team has the experience, ha has uh, all the knowledge to modify uh, the MEA in terms of uh, how the membrane will be or how the electrode will be with this collaboration with universities in Connecticut. So that can be the correct choice for a specific application. What sort of customizations do you, can you do? And, and can you go into a little more detail about the customizations? Yes. Uh, look, our customers actually are, as we are a component manufacturing company, are the fuel cell stack manufacturers or fuel cell system integrators. So these people uh, can, uh, are active in uh, fields in applications like backup power, auxiliary power units, uh, portable, and uh, combined heat and power units as well. And uh, as I told you in the beginning of our discussion, in uh, electrochemical hydrogen purification technologies. Okay. Well, thank you for but, that. Uh, I would like to tell you something more regarding sure. the uh, latest development that we have in terms of uh, product development. So um, what we have achieved is uh, something really significant because it is the higher uh, temperature ever recorded for uh, high temperature PEM fuel cells. So we have been able to reach uh, operating temperature up to 220 degrees C. Uh, this is a new membrane that we have, a cross-linked one. Um, and uh, we here, our customers are very happy with that option. And uh, this will be the one that we will uh, manufacture in a production line uh, in the US. For some of those in the audience that aren't in the fuel cell industry, what is the benefit of having such a, operating at such a high temperature? Uh, yes, it is that, that you can use, for example, a very simplified fuel processor. So uh, you can have a, a, a much smaller system uh, in terms of volume and in terms of cost as well. So you can have hydrogen in the feed that can have, for example, up to 4 or 5% of carbon monoxide. And at the same time, the whole uh, balance of plant is much easier. Um, in terms of, in terms of to further discuss the MEA um, advantages, how does Advent Technologies differentiate its technology from, from the others in the industry? There's a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of others that do MEA um, with the same, similar advantages, but how do you differentiate yourself? Uh, good question. Uh, our superiority comes from the membrane. So uh, our membrane has a strong ability to retain the phosphoric acid because I didn't mention before, uh, in order for our membrane to have proton conduction, and since we are talking about high temperature PEM fuel cells, uh, we're talking about phosphoric acid. So uh, we have the ability to retain strongly the acid. That means that we don't have any leaching during operation. Uh, the membrane is very durable and stable under the thermal cycling conditions that I mentioned before or under differential pressure. So that is because the membrane is robust. The mechanical properties are better. And that means that the longevity will be better. Do you have any examples of these MEAs at, at your booth? Do you have any? Uh, yes, of course. There are many samples that you can either see on the display or you can even touch because we have some samples for somebody to touch. 
Uh, for those that wish to go and see the samples and enter further discussion, uh, please go speak with Nora at booth D72. It's just located by the technical forum, which is in the far corner here. Um, yeah, there are some samples which I think would be interesting to go and see. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>